The ongoing conflict in Ukraine has put immense strain on Russia's defense industry, pushing it to its limits. Moscow urgently needs weapons and equipment at a scale not seen in decades, reminiscent of the Cold War era. While Russia boasts a large military-industrial complex, significant cracks are beginning to show, revealing underlying weaknesses. Maintaining its vast military machine is proving to be a significant challenge, both logistically and financially. The situation raises serious questions about Russia's capacity to sustain a prolonged conflict without exhausting its resources. The initial response involved drawing on existing stockpiles. However, these reserves are finite and depleting rapidly. Now, Russia's ability to produce new weaponry at a rapid pace is crucial for its military strategy. This is where the strain on its industry becomes most apparent as factories struggle to keep up with demand. Meeting the demands of modern warfare requires more than just sheer numbers. It demands technological sophistication, innovation and a highly skilled workforce. Both areas where Russia faces significant difficulties impacting its overall military effectiveness. Russia has so far managed to replace its equipment losses, at least numerically, through a combination of strategic measures. This is primarily due to a two-pronged approach recruitment and refurbishment which has allowed them to maintain a semblance of military strength. The Kremlin's mobilization drive brought in fresh manpower, compensating for battlefield casualties and ensuring that the ranks remain filled. Simultaneously, Russia has pulled older Soviet-era equipment from storage, breathing new life into these relics of the past. These have been refurbished and sent to the front lines where they continue to serve despite their age. However, this strategy has limitations and cannot be sustained indefinitely. The reliance on outdated equipment highlights a key issue, the transition from refurbishment to new production, which is crucial for long-term viability. While Russia can keep older tanks and artillery running, this is a stopgap measure that only temporarily addresses the problem. The battlefield increasingly demands modern, technologically advanced weaponry, which older equipment simply cannot match. To remain competitive and effective, Russia needs to significantly ramp up its production of cutting-edge arms ensuring they can meet the demands of modern warfare. Shifting from refurbishing old equipment to manufacturing new weapons is a significant hurdle for any nation, but especially for Russia. This is where the shortcomings of Russia's defense industry are most evident, highlighting the stark contrast between old and new capabilities. Modern military hardware requires advanced technologies, many of which are subject to international sanctions, limiting access to crucial components. For example, precision-guided munitions rely heavily on microchips and sensors, which Russia struggles to produce domestically due to technological and resource constraints. This transition exposes a crucial weakness, Russia's dependence on foreign components, especially in areas like microelectronics, which are vital for modern warfare. While Russia has attempted to create a more self-sufficient defense sector, this takes considerable time, investment and technological advancement. The current conflict has exposed this vulnerability, making it difficult for Russia to quickly replace losses with modern equivalents, thereby impacting their overall military readiness and effectiveness. Section 4, The Labor Void, A Crisis in Skilled Workforce The strain on Russia's defense industry is further compounded by a severe labor shortage. Decades of underinvestment in technical education have created a gap in skilled labor. The industries need engineers, technicians and specialists to design, produce and maintain complex weaponry. The problem is exacerbated by demographic trends. Russia's population is aging and its birth rate remains low. This translates to a shrinking pool of young talent. Furthermore, the ongoing conflict has drawn manpower away from factories and into the military. This exacerbates the labor shortage, impacting production capacity. Section 5. The Bite of Sanctions, Technology and Supply Chain Gaps Western sanctions, imposed in response to the conflict, have significantly impacted Russia's defense industry. These sanctions target key sectors, including technology and finance. Notably, they restrict Russia's access to critical components like semiconductors, sensors and advanced materials. These components are essential for modern military equipment, from fighter jets to guided missiles. The sanctions have forced Russia to seek alternative suppliers, primarily China. However, this dependence on foreign partners creates vulnerabilities. It remains unclear if these alternatives can fully compensate for the loss of Western technology. Section 6. An uncertain future can Russia adapt? The combination of wartime demands, labor shortages and sanctions presents a formidable challenge for Russia's defense industry. While Russia is actively seeking solutions, including import substitution and partnerships with countries like China, 
the path ahead remains uncertain. Whether Russia can adapt quickly enough to bridge these gaps remains to be seen. The conflict has exposed vulnerabilities in its defense sector, raising questions about its long-term ability to sustain its military ambitions. The coming years will be critical in determining if Russia can overcome these challenges, or if its military capacity will be permanently hampered.